back in the hot tub, continuing with Marcus Aurelius and the study of the Stoic philosophy. Use thine opinative faculty with all honor and respect, for in her indeed is all that thy opinion do not beget in thy understanding anything contrary to either nature or the proper constitution of a rational creature. The end and object of a rational constitution is to do nothing rashly. I love that. To be kindly affected towards men and in all things willingly to submit unto the gods or unto nature. Casting therefore all other things aside, keep thyself to these few, and remember withal that no man properly can be said to live more than that which is now present, which is but a moment of time. Whatsoever is besides either is already past or uncertain. The time therefore that any man doth live is but a little. And the place where he liveth is but a very little corner of the earth. And the greatest fame that can remain after a man of his death, even that is but little. And that too, such as it is whilst it is, is by the succession of silly mortal men preserved, who likewise shall shortly die. And even whilst they live, know not what in very deed they themselves are. And much less can know one who long before is dead and gone. So there's a lot in this, uh, in this paragraph. Basically, he's talking about, oh, excuse me. Basically, what he's saying is, all we have is this moment. Like, this moment. And this one. And then this one. Everything else is either past, so we spend our time wasting time on the past, which nothing can be done about, or everything else, as he says, is uncertain, which would be the future. Again, wasting time worrying about that. All we have is now, the moment. And to do things in the idea of acquiring fame. Fame for what? So for a few years, people might remember something? As he says, very quickly, even those silly mortals that are trying to keep something alive from the past, they're going to die. And he ultimately goes on in other passages to express... Even if that went multiple generations in the grand scheme of things, it's nothing. So why waste our time on that? As opposed to the rational mind, the rational responses to make fit with nature, to be good with the gods, as he calls it. And the concept of the Stoics in that space was nature making fit with nature divine so it's a very interesting thing also as he expresses this brief moment in time and this small little area that we are on the earth while we're here there's a really cool meditation that the stoics do and it's on my new app coming out where i do a visualization practice with this specific meditation and what it is is you basically imagine and visualize yourself where you sit right now, literally on the planet, and then you kind of scale out as though you had a drone and you kind of go up above. So then you see yourself in the room where you are. And then you go up beyond that to you see yourself and you see the building that you're in and you know you're down in the building there and you're kind of looking through it now kind of like super cool technology where you're looking into the building then you go out farther and farther and now you're up past the clouds and now you go farther and farther and you're up past the moon and now you go farther and farther out and you're past some of the planets in our solar system ultimately past the sun and you see how small the earth is now down where you were looking and then you continue this visualization practice and you go way out 
to the extent of what we can imagine what our galaxy would look like. And then you look back to where you are in this grand scheme of things and it's really not much, <laughs> like not much. And the time that we're here is a short amount of time. So he's saying, why waste your time and energy on things that are in the past, which you can't fix, or things that are in the future, which you don't have any control to? Yes, we can set our goals and we can take actions towards an, uh, an outcome. But at the end of the day, we're not in control. We're not in control of what's going to happen. You don't even know if you're going to be here tomorrow. And that's just the way it is. So what do we have? We have the now and the now and now this now and that's all we ever really have pretty unique perspective talk to you next time